Hey guys, how you doing? Today I want to show you some stuff on the computer and I want to talk about four super easy steps you can take to enhance your retirement income. And please keep in mind, I know a lot of people that watch these videos are, are close to retirement, but this is for people that are still in that accumulation stage. The part of like preparing for retirement is pretty easy part of the financial plan. I'm going to talk about four different steps you can take. Two of them are going to guarantee to enhance your retirement income, and the other two are likely going to improve your retirement income. Uh, but there's no guarantees with them, and I'll talk about them. Uh, there's sometimes more to financial planning when you're in this stage. Of course, you know, you might need some insurance protection, you might need some help with budgeting. You might have other scenarios, but this is like simple. Uh, a single guy makes $80,000 a year, lives in Alberta, uh, makes $4,800 uh, after tax, has a $1,500 a month mortgage payment, and uh, they have $50,000 starting in their RSP and they're going to be putting in $600 a month until they retire. Uh, when I look at that, okay, he's making $4,800 after tax, his mortgage payment is 1,500. He's going to have that paid off by the time he wants to retire at 65. So if you're just working apples to apples, then what he should want in retirement after tax is three uh, is thirty three hundred dollars per month after tax to fund his lifestyle. He's working enough. I'm going to assume that he's going to get full CPP at sixty five. He's Canadian. He's going to get full OAS at sixty five. We're not talking about the drawdown strategy that this guy needs to implement when he's forty years old. It doesn't matter. Things are going to change. Life is going to change. A whole bunch of different things are going to happen. Uh, obviously, none of this works in a straight line. So we have the situation. The other part of this situation is that we know that he's invested uh, his $50,000 RSP in a balanced fund, and he's paying 2.3% in fees each year. That's his MER. So... Uh, that's what's going on in the base situation. This guy's name today is Tyler Durden. And let's check and see what his results are. So this is his base plan, saving $600 a month into his RSP. He's got the 50 grand. Is he gonna be able to retire with that income? I don't think so. So you get this first graph and as you can see, there starts to be a deficiency. He runs out of money somewhere around 80 years old. Obviously, he might spend less as he ages, but that doesn't look great. I don't like seeing that much red. How can we fix this? And then we look over at this chart. You know, he wants closer to $40,000 uh, a year after tax, but he can only get 35100 if that's what he does. And those are the rates of return that he's going to get. Just know as well that based on Financial Planning Canada, FP Canada's guidelines based on a fee of 2.3 and a balanced fund, we have to use a projected rate of return of 3.11%. Um, that doesn't mean that he's going to get 3.11. He certainly could get more, which would help him but he's not gonna have enough money in this case. And those fees are pretty high for what he's getting. So obviously we're gonna talk about reducing those. The first thing that I would do, and this is my favorite thing for people to do, I tell everybody that's in saving mode to do this, that's utilizing their RSP, is to say, you're going to get a tax refund in Alberta, based on your income, based on contributing $7,200 a year of 30.5%, which is going to be, what is that, $2,196 per year. So what I want you to do is immediately put that into your TFSA. I like to call that 
the exponentializer, a word I made up like eight years ago, and it really never caught on. So that was unfortunate for me, but I'm still gonna fight for the exponentializer. Let's see what just putting the refund into the TFSA is going to do, how much improvement we're gonna get. All right, less red. All right, he's got, is really close. He can delay retirement to 66 and make this work. If he gets 3.93% of a rate of return, he's going to be golden. Um, you know, so he's close. This is getting close. You know, maybe comes into money, some saves a little bit better, has a few good years on the market, whatever, that will take him over it. But, you know, we got to pretend that things work in a straight line, which they obviously don't. Uh, now, the next one, is something that I get, I don't really talk about this enough, but it's huge. And this will enhance everything is, I, I know this is really hard right now because inflation and your wage inflation isn't going up. So you actually have less at the end of the month right now compared to what you used to, where your wage would go up with inflation and you know, you'd have a little bit more. So. If what you do is say you're making $80,000 a year and you get a 2% raise every year for inflation, what I want you to do is just increase your RSP contributions by 2%. So instead of 600, now it's 612 and so on and so forth. So if we start doing that and, and increasing these with inflation, this should take him over the thing. Well, not quite, didn't quite get him, but super close. He's $500 potentially a month under what his goal was. Uh, you know, he only needs a required rate of return of 3.28. Uh, you work an extra few months, he'll do it. And he's, you know, 20,000 short of what he needs at retirement in order to make this work. So that's super close. And now the next one is not guaranteed, but obviously it's pretty likely that you're going to long-term improve your rates of return if you're not paying 2.3%. It is very easy for any Canadian to go and find a financial institution that can build good portfolios for a fraction of that. As you can see here, you don't need a whole lot of hand holding or help with this financial plan. All you need to do is say, you know what, I'm not going to pay 2.3% to a big bank and some guy that's pretending that he's getting me returns right now. So I'm going to drop my fees from 2.3% to 0.5% which now should be able to theoretically increase your potential rate of return on paper from 3.11 to 4.91 because you've saved 1.8% a year. On $100,000, for example, that's an extra $1,800 that you have invested each year that gets to keep compounding. That's it. That's as simple as it is. There's nothing fancy about these mutual funds that people are charging 2.3, 2.4, 2.5% for. They own all the identical things inside them as these great ETF portfolios. Sometimes they win, which happens, but over the long term, the higher likelihood of winning by reducing your fees is way up. So we're going to do that. We're going to reduce the fees. Perfect. This will for sure take him over what he needs to get. Now he's got a big surplus, no red and a surplus with his RSPs. And this isn't even maximizing his retirement by doing it correctly. This is just saying there, there we go. It's totally possible now. Can actually retire now, uh, potentially a year earlier, and has 
closer to 46000 closer to $4,000 a month, instead of now he's richer in retirement than he is now because he has more money to spend because he doesn't have a mortgage anymore. And you know, before, look at how much more money there is there because the rate of return is potentially higher. The only way, the only way you can try and get a higher rate of return with like, without, you know, gambling basically is to reduce your fees and do what I'm going to talk about as the next and last step. Now, the very last one is this guy was in a moderate portfolio. So, you know, uh, risk level six on, you know, a, what a traditional investment model, you're not talking. And when I talk about like a risk level nine or 10, I'm not talking about GameStop and shorting stocks and Bitcoin and all of these things. I'm just talking about your portfolio doesn't consist of really any fixed income and is only invested in the stock market. So he has 25 years to invest and basically never in history over the course of 25 years has it worked out that investing in more stocks has lost to having a more balanced portfolio. Now you're going to have to ride more waves and be a little bit more scared, but you know that is how I would invest all the time is 100% in stocks because I trust the companies are there to make money. I'm not worried about fluctuations. I'm young. I have time to rebound all these things. You should see a better rate of return if you take a little bit more risk with your portfolio by having less fixed income in it and more stocks in it. So based on the FP Canada terms and now a 0.5% fee, we can increase his potential investment performance from 4.91 up to 5.69. So close to sort of a percentage point higher over the course of each year because it's in a more growth oriented portfolio. That's it, right? You take less risk, you're gonna see lower returns, you take more risk, you're gonna see more volatility, but potentially higher returns Simple as that. The investing part is easy. Save some fees, keep saving, whatever. Let's see what happens when now he has reduced the fees and seen the growth. There we go, still in the plus. Uh, now he's over $4,000 a month. He's close to 50,000 after tax a year. If he gets those higher returns, he can retire two years earlier. He has 800 and some thousand instead of, what was the amount he had in the first one? So he has 820,000 roughly. And in the very first plan with, you know, the expensive advisor, the expensive fund, not putting the money back into the TFSA, not increasing your savings with inflation and not taking growth he has 380,000. So that's a 500, almost a $500,000 difference by four very simple steps. Um, that's it, right? Um, you know, so the based on like our new pricing, we know for a fact that, you know, people sometimes just need help getting on the right track. And in a case like this, a simple one, you just need a simple financial plan. Uh, and then, you know, a couple meetings for us to discuss, you know, how to move forward. Based on his assets, he could hire us for a year for 500 bucks to get him on track, show him ways to lower the fees, and then go at it until he needs us as he's getting closer to retirement. Um, you know, you have a hundred thousand. Well, we're going to charge you a little bit more, but uh, that's just the way it goes up to a maximum fee if you've got way more, but you just want some help tracking towards retirement. We'll show you how to save the money and fees. So if you have questions, you're in this age bracket where you just need to get a better track 
need to need to help with sort of education as to why you should do these things, then we'd love to hear from you. Please reach out um, and we'll go from there. But hope that was helpful. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon. Cheers.